hello everyone my name is arohi and welcome to my channel so guys in my today's video i'll show you how you can run microsoft's florence 2 model on your local machines so first i'll show you how to set up the environment to run florence 2 then we will try working with different task prompts like uh, we will see how to work with image captioning and object detection image segmentation then ocr related tasks and after that i'll show you how we can perform auto labeling using florence 2 so suppose you have a, a folder where you have lots of images and you want to annotate those images for object detection tasks so suppose you have this image for this image you are going to have this kind of annotation file so here you can see first we have a class id and then we have bounding box coordinates uh, in my today's tutorial i'll show you how you can uh, auto label how you can auto annotate the images and then how you can convert those annotations in the yolo format okay so let's start the python version i'm using is 3.12.3 and guys if you want to run this code on google colab then you can run this single line and using this you can install all the requirements but when i was trying to run it on my local machine i was facing some errors over here to run on local machine i executed all these steps one by one okay and after that we are just importing all the modules and here in this model id variable we are using the florence 2 large model so guys there are two different variants of florence 2 one is large and other one is base so if you want to use the base model you can uncomment this line so in my today's tutorial i'm using the large model this is how you can write the name and then here we are initializing the model and in this variable we are initializing the processor okay so once you initialize the model and processor here we are writing a function this function is responsible to take uh, task prompts and generate the output so let's understand this function function name is florence2 this function is using three parameters task prompt images and text input task prompt means what you want to perform you want to perform image captioning object detection or uh, segmentation so these kind of task prompts will provide and images means the input image you want to provide with the task prompt and this text input is optional suppose if we provide this text input so this text input will be appended with the task prompt and it will become the final um, task prompt here also you can see so here we are just forming the prompt which we are going to provide to florence to model for the functionality if text input is none so suppose if we are not providing any additional text then the task prompt will become the main prompt to the florence 2 model and florence 2 model will work on it but if we are providing the text input then that text input will be um, concatenated with the task prompt and then we will get the final prompt like this here we are just forming the prompt which will provide to the model and then we are using a processor here we are providing the prompt the prompt which we have formed over here and the image the image and the prompt will be the input to the model and then we will be getting the tensors over here output will be the tensors okay so those tensors are stored in inputs now here we are using the florence 2 model for generating the output text and we are providing the pixel values pixel values what are pixel values the pixel values of the image which we have provided over here and this is the inputs this also we are getting from here only okay and the max new tokens means the token size to generate okay and then this this will generate the output text now we want to perform decoding so that we can get the data in the readable form output in the readable form here we are providing some post processing steps on it and the finally this function will return the past answer this past answer is the output of the model processed output of the model and we want we will display this on the screen so this is the function with the help of this function only we are going to perform object detection image captioning and then image segmentation then we are going to extract text from the images so now let's see how to use this function 
so first task is see here the task prompt is caption caption means we will provide the image to the model and then the model will provide us the caption and here is the image so we are reading the image we are saying the task prompt is this and florence to function we have created above so we are providing the task prompt and the image to the model and we will get the result in this caption one variable here you can see so this is the image we are providing to the model and this is the caption our model generated a man standing next to an elephant in a forest so this is how you can use task prompt caption now let's say if you want to see the more detailed caption then in that case you will provide this task prompt to your model more detailed caption and then we are providing the image again we are using the florence 2 model we have provided this task prompt and this image over here and finally you will see the output over here now here's you can see that we are getting a more detailed caption for this image so this is how you can perform caption and more detailed caption now let's say if you want to perform object detection on the same image so for that you will provide this od means object detection so this task prompt will tell the florence to model that we want to perform the object detection on the image so task prompt florence to model again and then we are providing this task prompt and the image the same image so when you will print the results you will get this kind of output b boxes so we have two objects in that image so first four bounding boxes are related to the first object and then the second four bounding box coordinates are for the second object this so we have elephant and person class so here you can see elephant and person here we have the bounding boxes and the labels now let's say if you want to plot these bounding boxes and the labels on this image so for that we have this helper function this function will take the image and the bounding box coordinates and this is how you can plot it okay here you can see so i'm ca calling the plot p box function we are providing the image and this where uh, from where we are getting this so this we have over here so we are providing that and finally you can see we are getting the bounding box and the class labels now let's say you only want to detect some specific objects so here let's say you only want to detect person you don't want to detect elephant then what you can do so here you can see we can use this caption to phrase grounding here we are again using the florence 2 model task prompt is this image is this and this time we are providing the text input equals to man remember in the florence 2 function we have the third optional parameter text input this is optional so if we'll provide the text input that text input will be appended with the task prompt and it will become the final prompt which will be the uh, task prompt to the model okay so this time we are providing this text input okay so here yeah so we are providing the text input this text input will be appended with the text prompt and we are providing the image and then we are storing the results in result variable then we are again using the function which we have created to plot the bounding boxes and here you can see the results we are only getting the bounding box on the man all right now let's see how to work with ocr suppose you have images and you want to extract text from those images so here you will provide the text prompt ocr and then this is the image on which we want to work let's open this image first so this is the image so we want to extract the text from this image so we are just calling the florence 2 model we are providing the task prompt and the image and here you can see the result so this is the uh, extracted text now let's try ocr with region ocr with region means we we will get the ocr with the regions so suppose we have this image now this time let's say we have this image 
on this image i want to apply ocr with region and we are providing the image and this is our task prompt florence 2 model we are providing both the parameters to florence 2 model and here we have the results and guys here you can see we are using we are getting quad underscore boxes what are quad underscore boxes so guys if you'll check my previous video uh, in which i have explained the paper of florence 2 over there i have explained that quad underscore boxes are used whenever we want to extract the text from the images so that is what we are getting over here and in labels you can see all the a text which is there on the image let's try to plot the result on the image okay so for that we have another function with the name of draw ocr boxes here image and the prediction this is the prediction over here and the image the image which i have shown you this one okay wait so here you can see that for each text we are getting a box and over there you can also see the text written on it okay so this is what ocr with region is let's see how to work with the segmentation so for segmentation you will provide this task prompt again this is the image here i'm using the same image elephant with a man and we are providing the task prompt and the text input over here is a man which means i only want to perform the segmentation task on man class okay i only want to put mask on man so let's say if you don't want to uh, put mask on only man you want to put mask on elephant also then you will not provide the text input this text input is only used when you want to work on any some some specific class so here we are working on a man class so result segmentation so you will get polygons for uh, segmentation so let's uh, try to plot it so for that we have a function draw polygons and draw polygons will get uh, draw polygons will have image and prediction prediction from the above cell and it will plot the segmentation here you can see a mask on the person class so this is how you can perform segmentation so guys this is a simple tutorial which shows you how to use florence 2 model on your local machine and how you can perform different tasks using florence 2 now i will show you how you can perform uh, auto labeling on your data set let's say you have a folder with these images so for demo purpose i have only these ima these many images so we have flowers over here four five different kind of rose flowers and i'm also using this image so let's say you want to perform annotation auto annotation for the images which are present in data first we are importing all the required modules and here we are just uh, initializing the model and the processor then this is a florence2 function this is the same florence2 function which we have used in our previous jupyter notebook which i've shown you okay now this is how we perform object detection right so the, if you provide the image you provide task prompt od and this prompt and the image will become the input to the florence2 model and this is how you get the bounding box coordinates so here first we are running this function this function will run the florence2 model on all the images which are present in a folder and it will create a separate text file for each image and it will store the bounding boxes and the class labels in the in that text file okay so let's run it so now let's open the data folder so this is a data folder and you can see we are getting the txt files okay so we are getting a txt file now let's open one of the txt file here see we are having the boxes these are the bounding box coordinates and the class label is rows okay so this is the one image now let's open this image and uh, text file here these are the two bounding box coordinates and these are the two class labels but here the data which we have is in some different format right now we have uh, annotation in this format okay but we want to have the 
annotations in the yolo format and yolo format accepts data in which which format first we have the class uh, id and then we have the bounding box coordinates okay now next step is to write a function which will convert this kind of uh, annotation into the yolo format so for that so for that we have another function here convert to yolo format so we have another function this function will convert the output annotations which i've just shown you in the yolo format and then we have another function which will give you the class ids for elephant class you are going to have zero for person class you will have one class id for rows class you will have two id okay so in the same way you can edit this class mapping as per your classes and then we are processing the images in this process image function we are using this convert to yolo format function and the get class index function and we are finally getting the output so let me just comment this one and we are working on a data folder so uncomment it and let's run it now when you'll run it just open the data folder again and here results are getting saved okay now let's open any txt file and see here Two, and we have the bounding box coordinates so this is how yolo model accepts the annotations so two class belongs to this two class id is for rows class okay in the same way you can open any other file let's say we are opening this file now zero is for elephant class one is for person class and we have the bounding box coordinates so guys this is how you can perform auto annotation and i have provided the link of this code in description section you can try this code and guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching